Hey, hey, you guys. Yeah, our Christmas tree is still up. I know some of y'all's Christmas tree is probably still up. Can we just take a second really quick? It's been a year since my first video ever hit a K in like two days. It's been a year. I was like, OMG, what is going on? That was the first video that ever hit a K on my channel, like right away. Can we just take a second to just look at how far in editing I've come? Look, look at this. Look at, like, look. Okay, I think I finally got the phone to stay. It doesn't look like it's gonna fall and crack and die. So, all right, let's get started. So I wet myself with water all the way. So How did you guys watch that? That is such bad audio, such like, I didn't even realize the audio was like that bad. It sounded good in iMovie and then I uploaded it into YouTube and it sounded like. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but somehow you guys still love that video and it's still doing numbers for my channel now. Today, I thought maybe let's do an updated shower routine. Obviously, I'm still in college. I'm just not in a college dorm. It's gonna be more like apartment type of style shower routine. So let's get to it. So let's start this routine. I have a three-step process. It's called clean, exfoliate, and scent. First thing you wanna do is completely soak yourself in water. And do you ever just wanna... No, just me, okay. Well. You want to just soak yourself remember to have two different towels your face and your body are two different things so you don't want to mix them so for the cleaning process i use dove shea butter soap bar soap so you want to rub it super good until it starts to sud up and you're just going to wash your face and don't forget your neck now you want to grab your body towel and do the same thing for my back i actually switched to a loofah just because uh, I honestly don't know why. I just switched to a loofah because it's just more exfoliating, I guess. And I had to switch to the long one because, as you can see, I was struggling just a little bit. So to help me out, you know, I had to just make that switch. On this scene, I was just adding on a bunch of soap because I had to take a thumbnail picture. And, you know, that's why I had to be extra. Now rinse all that soap off. <laughs> Now it's on to step two of my showering process, which is exfoliating. I am using this coffee scrub that I received from Amazon. And look at my happy-go-lucky self about these exfoliating gloves. You know, I've heard a lot about exfoliating gloves, but um, you're going to soon realize I regret these exfoliating gloves. Look at my face. I did not like the feeling of how they felt. They felt honestly kind of weird and just like scratchy on my hands. Um, yeah, it was kind of hard to grip the scrub. Um, it, it kept falling out of my hands. Like I just could not grip that thing. So, you know, I smothered it all over my chest. It was falling, you know, see the gasp. Yeah, I see them. So, you know, just uh, rub it in. And that was my first ow. And this is where the discomfort started settling in. I started to realize that this honestly hurts more than it's supposed to. I thought this was supposed to be pretty relaxing. And you know, I just continue to do this and I don't know why. Um, so it hurt really bad on my chest and my arms, but on my legs, it felt super good. Like it felt like a massage, but I would not recommend this on like your chest and your arms because for me, it did not feel good once so ever so i'll use them because i bought them but would i recommend it no because honestly you really don't need them 
So after exfoliating comes shaving. If you watched my shaving routine on my channel, you know that I was trying out this EOS, you know, shaving cream and it's a no for me. I can't hang. I can't deal with it. I'm just using it because, you know, I still bought it and, you know, there's a lot of products still left. But, um, yeah, I just don't like it. I'm just used to the mousse both stuff. Next is the scent the last and third step of this routine i love this scent so much it's like shea butter and i don't know it just smelled like cake to me like kind of like a strong vanilla it just smelled so yummy Wait about three to five minutes for the scent to seep into your pores. During this time, I rinse out all of my towels. And I was correct, it irritated my skin, the um, exfoliating glows. I actually was red and I got some bumps, but um, other than that, I was okay. Next, we are brushing our teeth because oral hygiene is, it's a must, you gotta do it. Don't forget to moisturize. I am using the Shea Moisture Papaya and Vitamin C Revive and Brighten Body Cream. You guys do not need that much. I used way too much. Um, I only smeared a little on my leg and as you can see, a lot of it came out. Um, I can't really describe this smell. Um, I thought it was going to be more tropical-y, but I feel like it smells more like bath salts, so you can imagine. I had a lot of body cream left so I just rubbed it in my hands and I put it all on my clothes so then I can smell all nice and fresh. Next, I am using <laughs> the same thing but in lip balm version. It kind of reminds me of lip gloss but like not as sticky. I was actually expecting chapstick but um, it came out like that. So it keeps my lips pretty moisturized all throughout the day and night. So it's a pretty good moisturizer for your lips. Don't forget your deodorant, because I almost did. Next, I moisturize my face because, not even gonna lie, that Dove soap low key dries out my face, and I need a moisturizer. So I started using the Ordinary brand moisturizer. I honestly don't remember which version it is, but I use this moisturizer, and it's pretty nice. Um, it's not oily or any that, and everything seeps into my skin seamlessly, and it's not like sticky or oily or leaves a residue or anything. So I love it. After I rub everything in, then I just kind of like massage my face in the correct facial directions. And 
And that's it. That is my simple college shower routine that I now do. And I hope you all enjoy and see you next time, which is going to be next Saturday at 3. Mwah.